Okay, today I'd like to do a uh, video on my DIY water filter, my gravity filter. I, uh, I can't take credit for this idea. I actually got this idea offline. The, uh, the trick is, is uh, I don't remember exactly where I got it and I was trying to look for it uh, the other day uh, to help someone else out and I couldn't find it. So I'm not saying it's not there, it probably is, but uh, I figured since I couldn't find it, I figured I would put uh, this on YouTube, uh, maybe help it be a little easier to find uh, maybe for other, if other people are interested. Uh, what I did was, this one's actually made out of a, a Katahdin Hiker Pro water filter. Uh, I had the Katahdin Hiker Pro uh, pump filter as it came and I decided that uh, I needed something a little easier <laughs> and I'm all about being easier so uh, I figured a gravity filter would be a lot better and also uh, a lot easier and I actually lightened it up believe it or not it actually is lighter than it was originally so uh, I've actually used this uh, multiple times now out on backpacking trips and I really like it so uh, without further ado I'll uh, you know, show you what this thing looks like and uh, how to make one. I want to point out real quickly that this is kind of a combination project between uh, two different videos that I watched. Uh, like I said but, uh, just a minute ago, the, the first one is a video that I have not been able to find again. It's, it's a project online. If I do find it, I'll put a, a link. I don't want to, I don't want to misrepresent and make like, make out like I thought this up, but uh, and then the other side of this is uh, I took some off of Jason Class's videos uh, on YouTube um, about uh, how to modify your water bladders and uh, also off of his uh, ultralight uh, system for uh, gravity filter that he came up with. Uh, so those two, those two will get the credit for actually doing this. Uh, but uh, this is pretty much how I store the, the, the filter for traveling. Uh, just uh, put it in one of my side pouches on my backpack uh, so it's easy to get to, uh, you know, into one of the mesh pockets so that uh, if I do see water, it's just easy. I can stop and filter real quickly. I do want to also point out that uh, this is the uh, charcoal uh, filter uh, that comes with a Hiker Pro, and uh, I don't always take that. Uh, I store it on here so that I know where it's at, and... Uh, you know, I don't lose it, but I don't always take it because it is kind of heavy. Uh, what it does is, is it, it's supposed to kill uh, or uh, take out some of the uh, uh, some of the chemicals, like possibly like uh, fertilizer or uh, pesticides. Uh, I don't think it's 100% at that, but it's supposed to take some of that out, and also it's supposed to help with the taste. So I do take it uh, depending on where I'm going. When I'm on the AT or uh, one of the places like that where it's it's mostly springs that you're drinking out of. Uh, I, I don't usually take it with me because it's too it's extra weight and I don't really feel like I need it. But uh, like some of the places in Texas that I go hiking, uh, I do take it with me because some of the water is a little more questionable, and uh, I do take it with me. So okay, I mean here it is, uh, pretty much like I uh, like I use it, ready to use. Uh, you can see the bags open now at the bottom and uh, the strings laying out. Uh, and I'll go into some of these parts more here in just a second. I just wanted to show you this is uh, this is it. This is how I use it right here. Okay, here's the parts broken down. Uh, before I do this, I'm going to say just like any other DIY project, the uh, beauty of it is is you know obviously th this is my disclaimer here. These are the parts I selected. Uh, you know anything that that would work for this you can use I mean you don't have to use these exact parts uh, for example like this is a ultra sealed dry bag you could use a Cuban fiber bag if you wanted to lose some more weight on it uh, whatever sky's the limit but again I'm gonna go over the parts I used for an example and uh, you can be creative and do what you like uh, that's what we'll start out with I guess is uh, this is the uh, dry bag that I used it's a Sea to Summit ultra dry ultra seal dry bag this is the 8 liter one. Uh, again, you can use whatever size you think uh, would work for you in your area. Uh, the Katahdin Hiker Pro water filter. The You're going to need a 32 ounce uh, Nalgene bottle. And uh, 
this is the uh, additional parts from the uh, Katahdin Hiker Pro uh, water filter. Uh, you can buy just the filter in itself because this is a replacement filter, but this I actually got with the original Hiker Pro. So uh, if not, you can you just use some surgical tubing or, or uh, you can buy some of this at uh, usplastic.com. Uh, speaking of which, that's where uh, this came from. This is a tube clamp off. Of, it's a six millimeter tube clamp that I got off of uh, usplastic.com. It's the uh, yellow version. I think yeah, each size is a different color. So this, the one I got for this hose is the uh, yellow version. Um, again, I think I talked about this already, but this is the uh, carbon filter off that uh, Hiker Pro. You don't necessarily need that. That's just uh, what's on my. Again, I keep it with the with the stuff, so I don't lose it, but I don't take it on all uh, all trips. So, uh, a couple of the things that I added that you don't necessarily need is this. Uh, this is Kelty Trip Tees. It's just some little uh, line that I put on here, and uh, you know, this is so that it makes it a little more versatile. I stole this idea along with the uh, collapsible water uh, bladder from uh, Jason Class. Uh, he's got a bunch of great videos on YouTube. Uh, if you'd like, check him out. He's a great guy. Got a lot of good ideas. Uh, on the end of this Kelty Trip Tease, I put this cord lock just so I could adjust it, slide it up and down uh, so that whatever it would fit on that way also if I was going to hang a tree and it's too high, I can do it from this. Uh, you can use just, you don't have to put anything on it. You can use a little extra line if you have in your bag, or whatever you'd like to do. It's just what I did. And uh, again, I stole this from Jason Class uh, off of one of his YouTube videos, but uh, this is just a little bit of a stretch line that uh, cord, stretch cord that uh, I got. And I just tied it in a knot and I loop it around just to keep the, uh, the bag compressed. And then uh, I cut this down straight off of one of his videos. I mean, if you look at this, this is exactly like he had, uh, but. Uh, I just cut it down to use it on my last backpacking trip. Uh, there was um, there was a spring, and I didn't want to get the water out of the the uh, spring, uh, so I, I wanted to get it right as where it was coming out. But I only had about an inch to do that, and I couldn't obviously couldn't get the bag in there. Uh, there was a bunch of floating stuff in the actual pool, but the spring was you know coming out fresh. So uh, I really needed something that. Uh, I could you know scoop that water or put just right under that that fountain so that it would uh, go into the bag so I wouldn't get this all mucked up and I didn't have anything so when I came back I, I like I said I'd seen this on uh, one of Jason class's videos and I I uh, came back and made myself one I just pretty much cut the top off of the uh, the canteen this is a low alpine I believe the ones he was using was the platypus but uh, they're all about the same thing I uh, just cut the top off top off and I marked it so that this you know this is marked as dirty water, uh, not clean, so you wouldn't want to drink out of this uh, straight from this. You want to make sure it's filtered. So anyway, without further ado, what I did was, uh, how I how I made this was I took the uh, filter, I took a Dremel tool, cut off, cut the ring off right underneath the threads, trying to leave as much surface area as possible, because later this will friction lock into that, and I'll show you. Uh, make sure you don't get close and leave as much material above the little O-ring little gasket as possible. Um, I cut it right under the threads and then like I said you have to cut these uh, stands out also. I tried to leave as much of this ring as possible just because the hose goes into this and to protect it. I don't want any sharp edges or anything so I tried to leave as much of that intact as possible. Uh, this is like other than that this is just like it's set up uh, as it comes out of the uh, the, the pump. Uh, it's got the little uh, netting to keep the the additional filter in place for debris and I put that on there also as you can see but uh, what I did next is is I took the 32 ounce Nalgene bottle I had an old one that was all uh, busted up and so I just uh, cut the I cut it off right here just under the threads I left a little lip on it I just cut it off right here and then I sanded it smooth so that there wasn't any sharp edges or anything that would catch or tear or anything then I took the top and took a Dremel and cut the top out also I cut this around and then I took a, some sandpaper and sanded that also so that it was nice and smooth. So that I have these two pieces. The next step was is I, uh, I cut a hole just the size of this in the very bottom of the bag, as much in the center as I could get it. Uh, it doesn't have to be exact, 
just as close as you can get to it. Uh, what I did was I pretty much like put a rock in the bottom of this bag and wherever that rock sat, like in the, I tried to get it as centered as possible to so put a little weight in it and that's where I, I, I just cut a very small hole in that bottom. And then how you assemble it, uh, it's really easy. You just take the filter, I'm sorry, take the filter and you uh, take this ring and like I said, it's just a pressure fitting. It's very tight. It's a perfect fit. Uh, I've never had any problems with this leaking. As a matter of fact, sometimes it's a little tough as you can see right now to uh, get it started. But uh, it's just a perfect fit. I push it up until it's uh, just flat. Both of them are flat together. They're flush. Then you take it and place it in the bag. And uh, get it. I try to get it centered in the hole as best as possible. I mean, you don't really have to be, but I just try to get it as centered and possible as possible. Yeah. And uh, did I did I just say possible twice? Well, I did. I sure did. Uh, once I do that, I flatten this bag out. Uh, I've been watching a lot of Suge's videos too. Uh, Suge Emery, check out his channel. Excellent channel. Excellent guy. Really funny. Uh, great ambassador for this for the trail. So if you guys get bored, want to look at another uh, YouTube channel, Suge Emery, great channel. Uh, but again, I I flatten this out as much as possible, uh, centering that, and I place the uh, top of the Nalgene over it, and I just sandwich the uh, nylon in between the threads, and I just screw it down until it's tight. I don't over tighten it because it's plastic. I don't want to tear the bag or anything. I just I just get it kind of snug. And I've never had any problems with this leaking or anything. I mean, it's uh, worked really well. Uh, once the lid's on, what that does is that prevents the uh, filter from being pushed out. So all the water pressure, when you fill it up, when you fill the bag up, it can't push the, the water filter out. Now, it might, if you push real hard this way, it might push out if you did that. But all, again, when you're filtering, all the pressure is pushing down on the filter so it doesn't come out. So that's how that that's why that works really well like that. Again, I've never had any problems with this leaking or anything, uh, at least not yet. I've been using it for a little while. It's been out on several trips and it's worked great. After that, you just uh put the hose in the end and the filter's complete. And it's ready to filter water, just like that. And put the water in this end and you filter it out. It filters out right there. Again, the hose clamp, what it does is allows you to do to uh, control the output of the water. You can slow it down or speed it up, and uh, or you can shut it off completely. So what I do a lot of times is at the water, I fill the bag up, roll it once or twice or three times. I uh, lock it up. The water's usually in here. I carry it back up to camp, hang it up, and then I and then I uh, open the little valve and start filtering the water for it. And it filters by gravity, so there's no pumping involved. <clears throat> it's pretty easy to do. Again, I only use this if uh, if there's you know if it's a stream and there's plenty of water. I don't use this. And if you know wherever you're going and you've got plenty of stream and everything's good, you don't need this. Uh, I only take this in places like I said where there's a chance there's not much water, like if there's just a trickle, or if it's a small stream, I can use this to get water in and then pour it into this bag. So. That's it. If, uh, that's pretty much uh, the way my filter goes. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, let me know. If you like my channel and you haven't already, you know, subscribe. I appreciate you watching and uh, have fun out on the trail.